the donkeys came across the Rio Grande in 1598 with a Spanish explorer Juan de Norte. So they came across. Uh, they've been here ever since. And so if you do the math, 1598, that's nine years before the establishment of Jamestown, which was the first British colony. So as the uh, British were establishing Jamestown, the donkeys were here to see it. When uh, the Declaration of Independence was signed, that was 178 years after the donkeys were here. So the donkeys watched that being signed. So the donkeys have been here a very long time. Uh, the donkeys built the Spanish trails, the Catholic mission system, uh, the railroads. You know, the mules and the horses get all the credit, but it was the donkeys that carried the food for the workers. It was the donkeys that carried the explosives into the mountains to pave the way for the bigger animals to bring the equipment in. Um, the mining, um, you know, everybody's seen the prospector with his, his trusty donkey. Uh, donkeys were instrumental in the gold rush years. Uh, there's just so much that donkeys have contributed to the building of this country. Their, their contributions have all been, been forgotten, but they were instrumental in so many areas of this country's history. But let's talk about why we need to remove them. What are the reasons that they give as to why the donkeys need to be shot or why they need to be removed? They say they're destructive to the ecosystem, okay, to the natural habitat. Well, I would counter that by saying there is no natural habitat without the donkeys. The donkeys have been there since 1598, okay? So Texas was founded in 1845. The donkeys were there before there was a state of Texas. Big Ben Ranch itself, give or take, you know, it was, it was purchased from different people and built up over time. But let's just say 1958, the donkeys were already there. The state park itself founded in 1988, the donkeys were already there. So there was really was no time that a scientist could point at to say, okay, that was the natural state of that landscape without donkeys, because the donkeys were already there. So there is no state of that region, of that landscape, where there wasn't donkeys already there. So how can you say the donkeys are being destructive if the donkeys were already there? So white people got introduced, the donkeys were already there. The white people introduced cattle, the donkeys were already there. So how can we say the donkeys are the one causing ecological damage if they've already been there? So then, okay, we've got to shoot all the donkeys, but because the cattle have a historical significance, we're going to leave some cattle there. So that makes no sense to me. 